You sure you want to keep on driving? Yeah, I really think that we ought to get to Louisville tonight, you know. I mean, we've lost so much time already, and here it is already night time, and we're just a few teensy miles outside of Fernwood. Are you sure you, you wouldn't like to stop at one of these motels? <laughs> you know, somebody told me that I'd say no to going to a motel with you. I'd have told them they're as crazy as a two-headed loony bird. <laughs> but, Charlie, we really do have to exercise some control you know, over my career and everything, because, well, I mean, we can stay in all the motels we want after we've signed that $2 million contract in Nashville. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, it is nice to think about being in a motel with you, though. I mean, it just makes me feel all giggly gook and scoochy, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's almost as good as being in one with you. Yeah, well, almost ain't quite. Oh. You you really planning to sell that so fella's song for him in Nashville? Yeah, I, I got to. You know, I gave him my word. But that's a terrible song. After what he had in mind to do with you. Oh, honey, both he and his song are just sickeningly tacky. You know, but well, I tell you, dear, when a when a man gives you choice between selling a song or raping you, I'm gonna pick selling a song. I sure am ashamed of how useless I was to you. Oh, honey, you couldn't help it. Just think of it as an experience, you know? I mean, all artists have to have experiences because they're like the inspiration for their songs, you know? It's like um, already in the back of my head there's been a song forming in my mind about this. I've already got a few lines. Listen to this. My love can have my it's real hard to sing when you're sitting down and you've got a stomach full of Oreos. Let's try it. My love can have my body. I'm glad he finds it fun. But no one else can touch it unless he's got a gun. I love it. I love it. It's got a great beat. Oh, great. Honey, honey, you sure you wouldn't like it? Just a little shut-eye, you know? I mean, on account of you being pregnant and all. Oh, baby boy, stop babying me. Save that for the baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really are an artist. I mean, you talk in poetry even when you don't mean to. <laughs> listen, mm -hmm. listen. I want you to do me a favor. What? Just, just close up your eyes. Curl right up. Put your head here on my shoulder. And just... <sighs> Just try to get a little shut eye, huh? Well, okay, maybe I will sleep just a teensy little bit. All right, we're on the air in 10 seconds. How do I look? Uh, uh, muss up your hair just a little bit. Uh, how's that? Great. All right, I want you to do, uh, cut me in a medium close, okay? Got it. Good. Go. Hi, this is your action reporter, Cleet Meisenheimer, at the scene of the accident, which this reporter informed you of exclusively from our Channel 6 action mobile unit while en route to the scene. We're here in a location approximately 30 miles south of the Fernwood city limits on Highway... Four. Well, this reporter was able to determine that the accident occurred between a vehicle occupied by Mr. and Mrs. Charles Hagers of Fernwood and a station wagon full of nuns. The police have determined that Sister Bernadette, the driver of the station wagon full of nuns, was not, and I repeat, was not under the influence of alcohol at the time of the accident. This reporter confirmed that determination after having an exclusive interview with Sister Bernadette. I learned that the four bottles of wine discovered under the front seat of this station wagon were purchased for sacramental purposes only 
and were still sealed at the time of the accident. This reporter has also learned exclusively that no charges will be brought against Charles Hagers, the driver, excuse me, people, the driver of the other vehicle in which his lovely wife, Loretta, has incurred injuries as yet undetermined. Some of you regular viewers may remember that we almost had a program on Loretta Hagers, a semi-professional singer who has just completed a very successful engagement at the Capri Lounge at the Rosemont Bowling Alleys. We were to telecast a performance, however, we had to cancel so that we could bring you a tape-delayed coverage of Councilman Pedro Zapata's press conference in which he was to deny all charges of irregularity in the Department of Animal Regulations. You ready? Honey, baby, speak to me. Loretta, honey, it's me, it's Charlie, it's your husband, honey. Speak, speak. Uh, Sister Bernadette, could you please give us the names of the passengers in your vehicle? Well, Sister Teresa was the one on the Take third, no, the second blanket from the left. <laughs> and Sister Veronica is uh, the next blanket, starting this way. Uh, well, excuse me, Sister, but how do you know who's who with just their feet sticking out? Sister Teresa wears orthopedic shoes. And Sister Veronica has metal taps on her heels. She teaches tap dancing to the black children in the ghetto. She studied dancing and was planning on a career in vaudeville before she took her vows. Oh, all right. Well, uh, never mind pointing them all out. Just the names, please. Well, there's Sister Margaret and Sister Angelica. Uh, excuse me a minute. Do I have to write Sister in front of all their names? No, 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 just the names, just the names. There's uh, Sister Florence and Sister Bridget and Sister Catherine, and I guess that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, no, no. Sister Florence wasn't allowed to go with us. Mother uh, Superior was displeased with her because she broke the vow of silence on the tennis court. Cross off Sister Florence. Um, now, about the accident. I know we're not at fault. But didn't you come around the curve at a We were driving along singing Yezu, joy of man's desiring, and we couldn't have done any wrong. Loretta, can he speak to me? Ellie, speak to me. Ellie, please. Charlie, baby boy. Loretta. Hi. Hi. What, what happened? Oh, uh, no, honey, we, we had an accident. Hit a station wagon full of nuns. A station wagon full of nuns? Is that a sin? Well, maybe if you're Catholic, but we're not Catholic, honey. Oh, good. Oh. I mean, you know. Under the circumstances and everything, I mean, you know, no offense to the Catholics. Honey, honey, are you all right? Does, it, does anything hurt? Are, are you, uh, are you are, are, is anything broken, honey? Are you all right? No, are, I'm fine, baby boy. I don't feel a thing. I don't feel anything. I'm just, you know, kind of numb all over. You're numb all? Oh, honey. Hey! Hey, you, officer, where, where's those ambulances? Come on, man. You don't want this little lady dying here, do you? Come on, Loretta, honey. Honey, they, they don't want you in heaven, honey. They, they don't need your music up there, honey. We need your voice right here. They got all the music they want. Besides, you're a country western singer. You need a guitar and a, and a little rhythm section to back you up. You wouldn't sound any good with a harp at all, honey. Loretta, honey. 